Hey guys, Snick here with Motion Dad and another tutorial on how to create this kind of dynamically changing, flashing, hipstery, strobe type color thing. Um, so, first off, shout out to Gift News on Tumblr. Um, they're not, uh, <laughs> they took a break or something. I really hope they come back because it just makes me laugh and it's a great way to keep up with news but also look at some awesome animation. Um, so yeah, this thing with Oprah's hair, um, this is uh, kind of basically what I want to do. Um, I see this a lot in kind of uh, uh, commercials and title sequences, and there's a great way to do this in After Effects uh, with not a lot of work, and I think it's a great technique to just take something that's static and just add a little bit of something to it. Uh, so let's hop into After Effects, and I'll show you what I mean. So here's something I made. It's a little... It's like something you would send out for like a party. Uh, obviously this party has already happened in summer 2015. Um, but instead of, instead of just sending like a static image, we'll animate the colors and it will kind of pop and be fun and cool. Um, so yeah, and I added this little dancing guy, but we won't be doing that today. Um, so yeah, I, I, I made this uh, little invite in Illustrator and I exported it as a PNG and I brought it into After Effects. So here it is and we'll just bring it down to start a sequence. And I'll go up to composition settings and okay so width and height are fine. Frame rate is at 30 that's great and duration is 5 seconds perfect. Um, so hit OK. And what we're going to do now is use an effect that I don't really use that much, but it's perfect for this type of thing called Colorama. And let's bring it down here. And what this does is takes the, from, from default, it takes the intensity of all the colors and then it outputs it into this spectrum of colors, um, this like little default color wheel. So by default, it's kind of perfect. It's just what I want to do. But if you wanted to, say, maybe take another kind of part of the colors, like the reds or the greens or even the lightness or saturation, you can and get different results, sometimes not pleasant like this. But this is kind of cool. Um, or the hue. There's a lot you can do. But I'll just stick to intensity because this seems to be the best result right now. And this uh, spectrum of color is kind of funky. It's kind of really, kind of really RGB kind of thing. Um, so they have all these presets that are cool. And you get different results from. Um, but if you wanted, you could just kind of like maybe take out a few of these colors by just clicking and dragging out. And then you can kind of change what's here. So just do this orange, maybe do like a light blue, do like a pink, and I'm just kind of being random here, but this looks pretty good, and it's a little bit more simplified, because, you know, instead of six colors, it's three, and I think it's a little bit more polished. Um, so great, you know, I've changed all the colors of my little image, but I want them to be flashing and changing constantly, and doing some cool stuff. So to do that, all I'm going to have to do is go into the input phase and this phase shift right here, just animate it. So you could use an expression for time if you wanted, but uh, I think I'll just keep it simple, add some keyframes. So click keyframe, go to the end of the comp, and this is kind of just a 360 degree wheel. So um, I'm going to kind of spin the wheel three times in this five second thing because I want it to be kind of manic and spastic. And there we go. Um, so this is about half of what I want. So I wanted the color changing thing, but I also wanted it to be flashing and kind of in your face and not this kind of smooth interpolated lava lamp type thing. Um, so to do that, to get that kind of flashing effect, uh, I use one of my favorite effects. Um, go up to layer new, sorry, and adjustment layer. 
and put it at the top and then add in a posterized time. And what that does is it takes the, uh, you know, I'm, at, I'm in a comp that's 30 frames per second, but it's going to um, change the frame rate only, you know, as, as we see it, not like the actual frame rate of the export. And we could take this frame rate and make it really low, like five or whatever. And that will give me that kind of choppy, flashy uh, thing that I want. And you can play around with this. Three frames per second is a little too slow. Do like eight. I think ideally you would want this to be a multiple of 30 or if you were working in 24 frames a second you would want it to be like a like a smooth multiple so we'll take 30 divided by 4 and it gets a 7.5 frame rate and that's yeah it's a little bit more smooth than the one I, I was kind of happy with the, the 5 so I'll do that it looks pretty good to me now, if you wanted this to be faster, you could always kind of, you know, do five times around that wheel. Or go like really crazy and do like 10. You could just play around with like how much it changes color. That's perfect. That might give somebody a seizure. So we'll stop there. Um, and yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's basically all there is to it. Uh, this is really cool for just like anything that you just want to add a little bit of an animation to, whether it's, you know, just text or words or whatever. If we wanted to just do the ice cream bar and guide the viewer's eye there, then it's perfect for that sort of thing with not a lot of work. So, uh, yeah, hope you found this helpful. Hope you start, you know, using the colorama effect a little bit more and saving time with animation. All right, thanks again. I'll see you next time.